pretty loud and pretty bad. Now you mentioned that you saw people on the road outside of the building. Explain that scene. I, I saw um, there's maybe about 30 or 40 people. Survive that kind of smoke. That's a very haunting description that Bob Kerr just gave of that low-flying aircraft near the White House, and one can only wonder if that was something that ultimately Let's ended back. up in the Pentagon. We just saw a live picture of what seemed to be a portion of the building falling away from the World Trade Center. If we can re-rack that to about 20 seconds ago, you'll see something dramatic happening. And I don't know whether it's another explosion or a portion of the building falling away, but something major just happened at that building. Here we go to we the, have tape. the tape. Watch what happens in the left hand tower. I don't know if this is the correct tape. There, something there is about to happen, falling away right there. That yeah, looks like a big chunk of it and it's just peeled away. doesn't make sense. Mysterious bright flashes were seen from the chopper that was dropping a line out above the South Tower moments before it became the first steel structure in history to collapse. Capital evacuated. The Sears Tower in Chicago has been evacuated. There was no threat of an attack against the uh, Sears Tower, but they're obviously going to quit while they're ahead. There. And uh, all of this world... Oh, wait. Oh, wait. This two World Trade Center, and that's where the second explosion occurred can, uh, about 15 minutes later. I can still see flames shooting out of, of both, so it's an incredible sight. I, do you have, uh, obviously they've told the planes to come down, so do you have any shots right now of it? Uh, you know, I've, uh, we, we've got a shot looking up from the ground at the, uh, at the side of the, the tower there. But uh, we we were not looking at uh, at the actual crater on the side, but we can certainly see the uh, the smoke coming from the building. It, have you had a, a sense over the past hour? Because from what I'm seeing, there's as much smoke as there was uh, an hour ago. That they have not made much much of a, a dent in this fire. I don't even know how much fire equipment they've been able to move up onto those. Oh, floors. it's just coming down, Pat. It is just coming down. Watch the right it's side. It's exploding. It's ripping apart. It is billowing. Pat, the debris is flying. I'm going to run. Okay. Uh, all right. Uh, our, uh, we, uh, we hope that, uh, that Kristen was, uh, was... In Washington, a terrorist alert because the Pentagon was hit by a plane and there's a fire on the Washington Mall. And, and in... 
and all and and their LA has a tactical alert where they are beginning to evacuate buildings. And then there is also another decision by the FAA, the Federal Aviation Administration. No planes are going to be allowed to take off. We just secured this video. בדקות הבאות בעוד המרחב האווירי של ארצות הברית וניו יורק במיוחד נסגר למטוסים, יהיה מסוק זה כלי הטיס היחיד באוויר מעל מרכז הסחר העולמי החרב. Not up for re-election because of term limits, but the election has been postponed. Explosions uh, rocked the Pentagon as well. Apparently, a hijacked plane crashed into the Pentagon. Now you mentioned that you saw people on the road outside of the building. Explain that scene. I, I saw um, there's maybe about 30 or 40 people uh, covered with bandages and blood. It looks like a lot of them were on the floor of one of the exchanges. <laughs> There's always a witness for history, I guess, that they were chosen to be the witness. <laughs>